this vlog is truly special. Levon Aronian, who is here for the Chennai Grand Masters, expressed a desire to visit a unique place, the Armenian Church in Chennai. We took a cab chatting about Chennai, South Indian culture, languages and cuisines on the way. Levon shared his fond memories of his 2017 visit to Jaipur in India. Despite some usual traffic, we finally reached our destination. Levon strolled stylishly through the streets until we reached the church. Opening its historic doors, Levon, accompanied by our hosts for the day, Ashkan and the caretaker Jude. Jude narrated the altar's rich history. Originally, here was a cemetery. Cemetery? Yeah. Then later they built a church in 1772. You know, this is a language that I don't understand. I mean, it's, it's Armenian, but it's ancient Armenian. I don't understand it anymore. We don't write it this way anymore. Levon immersed in the experience, lit candles and offered players. We delved into Armenian literature and met Ashkan's husband, Kapil. The main thing I would like to tell you is this altar. This altar is we have Mary taking Jesus to heaven, Virgin Mary, which we can't see this picture in any churches in the world. We have the bell priest which is manifested in London and which I only ring them 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. He guided us to the belfry, which houses six large bells. Levon, with his distinctive style, rang a bell, took pictures. And we decided to have a closer look at these impressive structures the largest and the heaviest bells in Chennai. Armenian church for me, it's small Armenia here. I, when I come here, whenever I come, I feel like uh, I'm at home. And what is interesting, last year for Christmas, and we were standing and talking, suddenly some uh, medium-aged couple entered the church and uh, we were thinking they are tourists because they were looking like a European tourist. And we are continuing our discussion, okay, we are not disturbing them. Then that man turns and asking, are you an Armenian? <laughs> and in Armenian, and we said, yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah. Ashkun then introduced us to the burial site of the founder of the world's first Armenian periodical. The first uh, Armenian Our exploration extended to another nearby church, an Armenian street. We met another Armenian who was living in Chennai. She gave Levon a book her husband wrote and her son really likes chess, especially Levon. We also met another Armenian who also lives in Chennai and they chatted a bit about Armenia. We enjoyed coffee with some enriching conversations. On our way back to the hotel, Levon candidly shared his reflections on the church and Armenian culture. Oh, very good. Uh, I saw, you know, uh, part of our history. Uh, this is where, uh, you know, our uh, first uh, newspaper and magazine was printed. And uh, this is where uh, our first Armenian constitution was more or less drafted. So. It's a very historical place, so I'm uh, happy I, I had the chance to see it and meet uh, local Armenians. They're very nice. And quite often, you know, I'm very proud by achievements of our small nations. 
so maybe if, if I'm able to inspire one person you know then I feel that what I'm doing uh, my visit makes sense so just you know just to uh, do my duty as a as an Armenian uh, citizen Levon's insights into his culture were eye-opening. I learned a lot about Armenian history, culture, and food. The hosts generously shared their knowledge. In our busy lives, we often forget about our culture and connecting with people. Levon, however, takes pride in his culture, making time for his community wherever he goes. His dedication to his culture and country is evident. And finally, appraise. This means thank you in Armenian. The one word I learned today.